Well, that was a set of very interesting projects. And um, if we have 11 minutes for some questions and answers, uh, there should be a mic being passed around if you'd like to pose a question to one of the speakers. Um, what are you thinking about it? I would like to set the record straight regarding the uh, Lotte World Tower. Uh, it was the firm of Leslie E. Robertson Associates that did the schematic design and design development. So it was not just Leslie Robertson. And uh, we worked with Con Patterson Fox through the end of design development phase, and then the design was transferred to Korea. Question. Uh, to Dennis Poon, uh, what was the maximum uh, drift uh, of the maximum earthquake in the tower? Oh, this for me? Yes. What was the drift? Oh, it's I get business there. here. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you repeat your questions again? Yes. What was the maximum drift? Uh, the drift? The tower? drift. Yes. Is, uh, I think it's between L over 500 to L 400 to L over 500. It's very good. Okay. Actually, we can go down to L for 250, but you know, you just we get it because that's another re reason uh, why the building achieves so much uh, uh, performance. In China, when we design the exterior column and even the bracings, uh, they have a limitation of the compression ratio. In China, you cannot uh, design your uh, members or compression member with more than 70% of your compressive strength for the concrete and your steel itself. So basically, we, we already have a margin there. So we continue to, to optimize and optimize, but we balance both. Yeah, hi. my name is Navid. Uh, I'm, my question is to the presentation about the statue. And I was just wondering whether there was any wind tunnel study done for that one, because I, I saw you, you have used the, the increased wind speed and, and so on and so forth, but was there an actual wind, wind tunnel study done for, for that project and the wind loads applied from there? Uh, yes, uh, since, uh, since l and has won the uh, EPC contract, they proceeded with a wind tunnel test from RWDI. And so, yes, but at the time when we were designing this in 2011 and 12, we did not have that. Hi, Mr. Dennis. Um, this building is designed on which seismic code? Uh, it is uh, designed on the IBC code, and also basically we also follow China code, uh, strictly China code first. Is it designed for immediate occupancy or? Oh, oh you mean the, for PPD design or performance yeah. design designed for 2,500 years is for life safety only. Not for immediate occupancy. No, no, for life safety, for, 20, to, to, for severe earthquake, which is uh, the 2 to 3 percent, 50 years uh, uh, probability, we design only for life, uh, uh, for life safety only. It, that's our criteria. Have you designed any building for immediate occupancy? I don't think you have to find an owner who's willing to pay for it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay.